Howdy folks. It's Hacker Monday and we're gonna hack something. <laughs> we're gonna hack a story. A legend. <laughs> if you've uh, if you haven't entered our contest yet, you need to look back at the previous episode from last week. We're giving away a laser uh, engraver and cutter machine from Afero and it's uh, we're gonna be drawing that this Thursday of this week. Meantime, Monday, we're hacking. Yeah, we're we're going to take a look at something here. Uh, if you've ever been to a consignment store or furniture store, you know, used furniture, that kind of thing, a lot of times you'll hear couples walking around and the wife will pick out a desk or something and say, man, that looks really nice, but, uh, you know, check and see if it's uh, real wood. And the husband will walk over and he'll pick the desk up and she'll say, you know, if it's heavy, or if he, he'll even say it, if it's heavy, it must be real wood. I keep hearing this, and I've heard it just about all my life, that comment. I was thinking about it last week, and the fact is, if it's light, it's probably real wood. Well, let's prove that. How can we prove that? Well, I cut up blocks, actually six of them in total, including a hardwood, a softwood, a pine, and of course, you know, what else is soft, and also MDF, particle board, and some uh, real fancy stuff that they uh, make furniture with sometimes these days called composite. Composite looks like, well, really has a real wood look finish on it, but it's just rolled through a machine under ste uh, hot uh, temperatures and pressure and, you know, some glue and paper, whatever they're putting in there, maybe bamboo pieces, who knows what, and running it through, and they're calling it uh, some plastic in there too, and, you know, oh, it's composite, you know, like, and composite probably lasts a long time, at least a lifetime, probably. But what I'm after today is, is the weight. So I've cut six blocks up that are exactly the same size, same dimensions of all these different materials. I'm going to put them on a scale here, right in front of you. And we're going to weigh them up and see who's the heavy and who's the, uh, who's the light. <laughs> Let's do this. So we'll start the scale up first and get it operational here and we've got the zero zero we'll push the zero yep scales clean clear and what I'm going to do like I said I cut each of these uh, blocks the same size same dimensional four by four so you can try this at home <laughs> yeah let's start with uh, good old Mr. Softwood Pine and we'll put him on the scale and I've even got a yeah, I'm going to write on the back of here what the result is, but 3.6 ounces. And again, that's U.S. measurement. It's not metric, guys, so calm down. Uh, stop typing. It's just 3.6, and I'm going to write that on the back of the pine. The next one we're going to try is uh, cut a piece of plywood. Again, same thing, same thickness, same dimension. And we'll put the old plywood on here. And it's 3.6, 3.6. I'm going to do this again. Three point. Huh. What happened there? Yeah. Hmm. Clean the scale. The scale is zero. Yep. Okay. Three point six. Okay. So I'm going to write three point six on that. That's odd. Interesting, but odd. Okay. And this one here is the block of hardwood. So this one's going to come up a little bit heavier. That's a hardwood block. Okay, that's four ounces. All right. Now, we're going to get into the fun stuff. This is going to be, this is particle board. And it has a coating, of course, but it is particle board. Totally, you know, take a look at that. Yeah, that's some nasty stuff. And I'm going to put that on the scale. Put that on the scale here, particle board. And 5.9. Wow. Measuring a little heavy. Okay, so it's actually, I bet it was going to be a little bit lighter than that. I'm surprised. That is 5.9. Wow. Okay, next piece we're going to do is a composite, which is a like a plastic lumber virtually. And it's 4.3. There you go. Final is our, our other friend who is good for workbenches and stuff, so you will run into it, but it's MDF. And the MDF, let's have a look and see what we come in on. 5.3. 
which is pretty predictable, but yeah, there you go. All right, so let's go back to the uh, studio and discuss. Sorry about that crappy shot, but I had to get the camera right on top of the digital on that little scale so you could actually see what was going on. But the take from this whole thing is uh, the hardwood I was sort of betting against, but as it turned out, all three of these, what we would call real lumber, came up lighter than all three of these uh, fakes. I guess the worst one, which, you know, didn't surprise me. If a piece of furniture is really heavy, then I get suspicious and think it's probably, you know, particle board with a, a, co a fancy coating on it or something. And particle board uh, absorbs moisture and just, it even gets heavier as it gets older. <laughs> In fact, this was 5.8 uh, when we first measured it, and now it was 5.9, so it's actually gained a little weight over the last 24 hours. I was like, what? <laughs> so it's gotten even a little heavier. I think the scale was just measuring a little heavier because of the ambient air temperatures, and you know, this is not scientific, but it just proves the point that I was trying to uh, drive home was the idea that if you're in a, like a consignment store or used furniture, anything like that, where you're checking something out or a desk, you know, a computer desk, for example, and you pick it up and go, oh, you know, like eh, if it's heavy, it's real wood. No, if it's heavy, if it's real heavy, it's probably particle board. Uh, next Monday, I'm going to, uh, we're gonna do a little show about looking at a piece of furniture and figuring out whether it's real wood or not and you know whether it's worth taking home or oh, just set fire to that. We don't want it. And I'm hoping to get some comments about this uh, situation here too. And remember, I did measure, I measured pine, uh, measured hardwood, and I even measured plywood. And the plywood came out, to tell you the truth, a little bit heavier than I would have expected. But the pine, of course, was the lightest. And all of, these, all of these are cut four inch by four inch. Now, the only other thing, I didn't get into too much detail about it, and I'll just quit, you know, throw this at you, but the only composite I had was this stuff here, which is kind of plastic, like lumber. And I, it's not as thick as the other ones, and yet it still managed to get up in that higher weight range if it was a full thickness, uh, it would have been probably close to the five ounce or something as opposed to the 4.3 uh, or whatever that we measured. I sort of scribbled on the back of these things uh, trying to uh, get an idea as to what the weight was. But the idea was simply to show you guys like if it's, if it's light and strong and durable feeling, it's probably real wood, probably solid wood or plywood. It's not, it's not the, you know, this uh, MDF or a particle or malmaline or any of these other, you know, ones that we try to steer away from, especially if we're really into wood, you know, those are the things that we're like, you know, no, nah, I don't want that in my shop. But MDF is a good top for a workbench. I, I have a workbench back here that has two layers of MDF in it. And it's great, it's awesome for a workbench. For furniture around the house or a computer desk, uh, no, uh, I, I wouldn't have it, but <laughs> it's even durable. <laughs> but the idea is to just uh, put, start the argument maybe, I don't know. The last piece of furniture I picked up was like a roll top desk. And when I picked it up, it was really light. And that told me right away, because it was light, it's real wood. When I got home and sanded on it, it was solid real wood and it was like you know yeah this is what i expected it had it didn't have any of that you know particle board in it, it was an, it's an antique in fact i've got it out in the barn right now and be doing some work on it, it might show up in the show uh, next thursday by the way new tool will be given away this thursday the laser is being given away and uh so far this week it's been well this is the sort of thing we get into yeah, I want to thank everyone again for viewing and watching and please like, share and subscribe and please comment. You know, you might have some thoughts about all of this. I'd love to hear it. You guys know that. Meantime, over and out.